because even when you're just walking through right now, like just a little bit of breeze. So when you hear, you know, like, like the rustling behind you, you look behind and you feel like someone's like following you as you're walking through this. What's up guys? So I'm gonna take you guys in a little of a vlog with me today going out to Moapa Valley Corn Maze. This is something that I think started 2014 out here in Moapa Valley, which is on your way to like Utah about an hour from Vegas. So this is a cool thing they do during the uh, Halloween season here. So I'm gonna take you guys on the road with me to Moapa today. out here to the Moapa Valley corn maze. This is pretty cool. Nice little oasis in the desert. The grass, the maze, kids running around. The ride there. We got another ride over there. This little playground for the kids this is really cool. So I just made it inside. It was $12 for the uh, corn maze. When you do that and they think it's separate prices for you like some of the other rides. So place is a uh, dog friendly as you can see and they also have a hay maze for like the little kids little little kids but some of the little little kids have taken upon themselves to climb on top of the hay maze instead of actually walking through it <laughs> uh, go walk and explore the area a bit <laughs> these kids just run around on top of the corn or on top of the hay maze some big swings out here. Well, porter potties are actually pretty decent out here. They actually uh, have some nice toilet paper in them. So, go walk around here for a minute, eventually go out to the corn into the maze, but see some of the other stuff they got around here before we hit the uh, maze. So, those swings are actually really cool because it looks like they made them themselves because those swings are actually wire. The cables on, they're not chain link like at a park and it's so high I've never seen swings that high before we got some kids here doing the cart races that's cool guys I'll put the link down below I forgot to say at the beginning I'll put the link down below for this uh, place here they started this I think in 2014 I think it's just something really cool here in southern Nevada I just want to give some publicity to this so they have pig races a couple times at least on the weekend so I don't know if we get to catch one today but this is really cool who says you can't grow anything in the desert? You got the melons out here. And down there, it looks like the pumpkin patch. You guys can see there's one lady down there with a pumpkin in her hands. So, pumpkins and melons here in Moapa. Gonna step into the small petting zoo they got here. Looks like you got some goats. Donkey. Oh, I didn't even notice the pig. They got a couple pigs. <laughs> the pigs are killing that melon. The cow is jealous. Yeah. Hungry, buddy. Ah, yeah. That didn't last long. There's a little more. There you go. <laughs> I'll get you in a second. Don't worry. <laughs> You got some, you got some. Take, there you go. Cheers. He was just staring at Fighting at the dinner table, huh? All done feeding the animals who are fighting at the dinner table to get fed. So we're gonna go through the corn maze now, which remember you guys, you park right over there, go to the entrance gate in the distance there, and then here is the corn maze. Ready to go inside. So at least in the very beginning, this maze is not like dead simple to follow because you come look first thing, you go left, go kind of straight at an angle or to the right. <laughs> so first thing, you have four different choices to make and I'm going to go this way. So that first part led to a fork in the cornfield, which led to another fork, which led to another fork, 
the corn's like just high enough I can't like see over it. All right, not off to a very good start. Just walked in a giant circle <laughs> coming back. So I think I've made it a total of about 30 feet from the entrance so far. <laughs> so this maze is pretty cool right now. It's pretty good size out here, but I can see hello how uh the nighttime there the night maze can get freaky because even when you're just walking through right now, like just a little bit of breeze. So when you hear, you know, like like the rustling behind you, you look behind and you feel like someone's like following you as you're walking through this. So I just walked into another dead end. I think I'm gradually making progress like out the way you're supposed to. It's actually kind of cool down here because you can see the house in the distance. There's a couple houses out here. Like on top of that hill right there. So really cool they do this. So I think it's only been around for like four years or something. But this is definitely a family friendly thing to do. I think I hear the children of the corn laughing out there. You hear that? Apparently I did not make it out the normal entrance, or excuse me, the normal exit you're supposed to go out. Like I went through you know, the entrance here and kept trying to go like farther that way, like deeper that way. But I guess you're actually supposed to come out somewhere over there, but did not make it. Made it out alive, that's good. But I just walked back out the entrance. <laughs> that's cool, they got tug of war going on. It's like some dad doing tug of war with his two daughters. They got face painting, which is cool. And they do have some uh, hot apple pie fries they're doing out here. So they do got a bit of snack bar up here, usual snack bar foods. So, yeah. Playground. I like this. They get Jenga, Connect Four, somebody's selling honey. Which reminds me, oh, something on their website says when you come out here, do not wear bright colors during the daytime because they do have bees out here. I haven't really noticed any today, probably because it's overcast. I guess at night, there's no bees out here at night. They go back to the hive before the sun goes down. So today being overcast, there's really not any bees that I've seen uh, out here. But yeah, it says, do not wear bright colors when I'm wearing black, my golden night shirt. So here's something out there I've ever seen before, but it's perfect for out here. You know, the playground's usually like wood chips. Not out of here. <laughs> it's all these corn kernels. Makes sense because they got plenty of them. <laughs> so I'm give the corn cannon here a try. They load corn into this thing and you shoot it and you try to hit one of the targets out there on the hill. There's no scope on this, there's no sights, there's nothing to help you aim. You're just kind of guessing here. Nice shot. It's not close. even close. Now it's just about time for the uh, pig race. I guess the last pig race of the day. Let me see what time it is right now. Now it is six o'clock. So yeah, I guess like they do three of them a day or something like that, at least on the weekends they do. So I'm gonna hang out here for just a moment. There's the uh, shack or the shed that they're in right now. They're gonna be coming right around this track here. And we have a packed house to watch the pigs race, the final race of the day. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do it, then I want you to do it. You gotta go. Sweet! Alright, you ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's give it a round of applause. Round of applause. And on three, I want you guys to say go. One, two, three. Go! And it looks like they're out of gates and they're ready to go around the corner. And it looks like it's a little black pig on the inside. He's gonna take them all out. Oh, it looks like there's a little bit of speed going around and running down. And he's the ball. He's to each other. The one's right there. He's like, I don't need to go any farther. And yeah, he's like, oh, where's my cookies? They're already too slow. Oh, it looks like we're going to have to 
Get me back to the world. Oh, no, 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 Look at that beautiful sunset. Love the southwest part of the country, man. So on that note, guys, it's, it's almost seven o'clock. Uh, today is a Sunday. There's no nighttime activities today. So their daytime, I think, goes from noon to 7 p.m. is all the daytime stuff. And then when they're doing like the nighttime haunted maze and things like that, that's after seven o'clock, I think till nine o'clock, but I'm not positive. So again, Link down below to uh, MV Corn Maze here in uh, Moapa Valley. You guys want to come do this. This is definitely fun, definitely good for all ages, for the whole family to come out here and have a good time. So thanks for watching, guys. My name's Jacob. This is My Life in Vegas.